Hmm. What up, people? It's your boy, Master Chudy, out here with another comic review. So, yes, everybody's giving their reviews, and I've had this book, but uh, let me get it out here. We got Damage. This is the new age of heroes, coming from the pages of metal. And as a new book, guess what? Two ninety nine. This is how you get customers, Marvel. But anyway, this is a new guy, Damage. That's his name. How many people call him the Hulk? But anyway, it's the Hulk of many things, but he seems to be, that has that aspect, but also a very, um, you know, forced, um, tragic Red Hulk character, actually, because in this, he seems to be a soldier, as opposed to a science who is an accident, and he wanted to serve his country, but got turned into this, and instead of being corrupted by the power like Emil Blonsky, as Abomination, or believing that this power would help his country like, um, Red Hulk, he hates it, and he didn't want it. So let's get into it. So we got this whole poster right here. Everything I'm not gonna open it up, but we just see him like this, like saying, "Let loose, Ethan." That's his name. It's like, no, he's struggling, saying that I don't want to be this. I didn't come to be this. And this is not what I wanted. But um, it's like, their chains won't hold you. Nothing can. It's how they made you. So he's going crazy, and he's going. Everything's they like, give them. They want to damage. Give them. And just see, one hour actually. Damage, gra! Look at that. <clears throat> he comes from a plane, or he left the plane. Look at that. Bam. Jesse DC Port says, "Out of control, part one. Let loose." And we see Tony S. Daniel and Robert Venditti of the writers. Uh -huh. Danny Miki is the artist, and I think he does a good, <gasps> good job. <clears throat> Miki did the cover as well. Tom Napolitano, of course, is a well-known letterer. And so on and so forth. And this is a creation by Tony S. Daniel and Robert Banditti. So, nice new character. And we can see that there's a time limit, a time frame, to how long he can remain hulked out, as it'll play a larger role. So he lands in a populated area. Bam, look at that. Wham. We just see everybody's going crazy. It's like, Damage is off the leash, so his name is Damage. It's like, we won't make it to the borough. Repeat, Damage is off the leash. And of course, they deploy an intercept team to take him down. Eject and get clear major. Say additional assets are inbound. Stork one, Stork one, Stork one is going down. Intercept team is no go. I'm the only one who can get to the armor. It's like armor deployed. I'll bag him, Colonel. Stand down, major. Do not attempt to intercept damage alone. So, everything's going crazy. So damage is just going crazy through the city like a Hulk thing. But when we see something like this, say. Should have followed Arthur's e Ethan. So, we see that in his head, he's like, Damage, listen to me. We don't have to be their monster. So, the time is still going down. So, everything's getting blown up. It's like, you ran. Now we gotta put you down. So, they're trying to take him down. It's like, you never had what it takes. I'm the best soldier for the job. So, we can see that somebody who is like M.O. Blonsky wanted this. It's like, they should have chosen me. I should be damaged. But, of course, Colonel Jonas to Major Liggett. Confirm disengagement. Damn it, Liggett. I'm ordering you to, so... Of course, Liggett, right here, Colonel Liggett, is like, nah, I gotta take him down, so he's trying to fight damage alone, and we see that they're telling him to abort. And there's some just fantastic pages of here. They're telling him to abort, damage is going in after him, three minutes, three and a half, two and a half minutes have passed. So, he's still fighting them, boom. Boom, and we just see... Guy's just crushing Colonel Liggett. And he's like, Colonel, someone please answer. Mayday, armor's offline. And we just see the damage is going crazy, still killing. And he's about to kill Colonel Liggett. He's like, stop, I can help you. He's like, no, Ethan, please, I know you can hear me, Ethan. So you just see Colonel Liggett is making for his life. Like, but you have to stop. So he stops down. Three minutes. And he's like, hmm, you can't even finish the kill, Ethan. It's like, they should have chosen me. So, he drops it and he spares his life and he just goes this way throughout the city where there's chaos. And it's like, somebody help me, Sake. And the thing is like telling him, like, leave these people alone, damage. They didn't do this to us. She did. I wanted to be a hero, but she turned me into you. We're free, but Liggett was right. The one on our countdown has started. We're already running out of time. Go. Go now and hide. So, she'll be coming for us. So we see that damn less than 12 hours remaining until damage will be in play again. Ethan is supposed to be getting a tune-up at the borough right now. Addressing the malfunctions we saw 
during his mission against the Mordoran Separatist Army. So Ethan is used to take down different factions in the world, basically. Classic military weapon thing. So are you seeing this, Colonel Jonas? I see it. Find a place to set us down. It's like, roger that, man. So all of this destruction... Well, this is the plane that he escaped from. And we see him take out. It's like, Colonel, no survivors. We lost uh, we lost the crew and, the, and all of the Alpha Platoon, except for Major Lickett. He's at Grady Hospital with 17 fractured bones and a lacerated liver. Much like M. Oblonsky. And it's like... Who got his, you know, behind handed to him in the Incredible Hulk movie in 2008? Sake, like, we're on Ethan Avery. How are we on Ethan Avery? So, full name is Ethan Avery, Lieutenant Rowe. Black Box video shows him tearing through the suppression straps and punching a hole through the fuselage. All teams were, are sweeping the outward from the epicenter. No sign of him yet. Close to 500,000 people in Atlanta proper. Oh, so he landed in, a, in Atlanta. It's like. Keep at it. Make sure the team's following up every lead. Operation Lethal Promise can't go forward without damage. Mm. So what's happening? So Colonel, if we don't find Ethan in time, if the 23-hour repercussion period passes and he decides to become damaged again in an urban area, a domestic urban area, the short clock is getting shorter, Lieutenant. Yes, ma'am, we'll find him. Say, so, like, we had an understanding, Ethan. It's like we had an understanding, Ethan. It's just see, you go where I say, kill who I say. Do the damage so none of my soldiers have to bleed. Now we're all gonna bleed. So he took the job so that less soldiers can die. But we just see God in heaven, what did you do? We recovered the pilot colonel. John Nickel, his name was John, Captain John Nickel from Chicasa, Oklahoma. Ace flying John, you brought Stork one down in a park in the dead of night. How you managed to keep her out of downtown, I'll never know. Must have fought like hell, but a wounded bird only flies so far. I want you to know this is none of that none of this is your fault, John, it's mine. And then we see somebody you dropped the ball all right, Mary Murray. And we just see Amanda Waller and her suicide squad. But this one seems different. Deadshot, Grundy, Giganta, Parasite, of course Holly Quinn. I don't know. Just see Task Force X is here to mop up your mess. See just see Amanda Waller. Who let your suicide squad into my secure site? You did the moment you lost the handle of your pet project when skydiving. Because of you, there's a walking, talking weapon of mass destruction loose on American soil. That's it. Ethan Avery better enjoy his freedom while he can. His life is about to end. We just see Ethan on the ground saying we don't have to be there, monster. Next, squad goals. So, while it was simple, it sets up for what's going to happen. This is fantastic. New book, new plot, you want more, all for two ninety nine. DC knows what it's doing. So yeah, I give this a good eight and a half out of ten for a solid one. Issue, number one issue. So thank y'all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification. Make sure you're notified. Once again, I do these reviews for you, the people, so I can get your views on comics and see what you have to say. Thank y'all for watching. I should have more videos up maybe later today.